Hello everyone, Indulger here again for another Fire Emblem Heroes video. Today I'm going to be going over what I call Ether Rage Retrospective, which is an agile methodology of trying to improve your performance based on the results of your uh, last week or last iteration's results. So, to that end, what that means for us is that we're going to look at our defense sort of wins and losses, examine the current meta, see if there's anything we want to tweak for next week, and just generally things like that. So the first thing that makes sense is to, well, I'll show my, my team in a minute, but sort of show the overall results of the week. I went over this briefly in, in the last day's sort of fights, but if you count them up, we got a minus 40, an 80, an 80, an 80, a 60, and an 80. It's not a great um, set of results for this week. Um, I tweaked my ether rates a little bit midweek to see if I could get a little better because I had this big stretch of just wipes. We had, it was zero, 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 and then I tweaked it a little bit around here and I ended up getting one, two, one, one. So, again, my... My goal is not a complete wins. I just I don't have the resources or the or the desire to craft a team that's going to be able to win consistently. I'd rather just for on Anima focus on Duma, lose 40, 50 and then light season. Light season is always hard because everybody has boosted airs, you know? So, and you have to deal with super tanks. So you have to have hard counters to super tanks and that's hard to do with every color. It's possible, it's certainly possible, but it's not my goal. My goal is just sort of chip one or two, maybe get a rage quit win if somebody has an escape ladder to burn. It's worked out well. And if you look at the rankings, it, it, it worked out pretty well. Uh, I didn't need, I continue to stress the importance of offense. Offense is 80% of what you need to get high tier. Yes, defense wins are great. It is very nice to get, you know, six, two or three successes a, 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 um, a season, but you're at the mercy of RNG in different regards because who knows what, it, what your first fight of the day will be. I've had plenty of times, and I'm sure everyone has been in the same boat, where you get a couple wins, but they were you're off sort of you're off first match of the day, so it makes no difference. Until they change that scoring system where it's it's better for you to actually... Every fight matters. Until that happens, I'm not going to just roll the dice and hope defense carries me. So, again, focus on your offense and the results speak for themselves. See if you can make a super tank that can handle multiple different situations. Ideally, make multiple teams with multiple super tanks of every color and every possible counter. That's hard. I haven't got there yet. Um, I probably could, can with all the blessings that have been released for, for light, at least. But until someone can reliably take out my Surter tank, like reliably, like more than four or five times a season, I don't need to do it. If you've watched my, my, my uh, videos the last two weeks, I think I've proven that my Surter can handle himself in Anima and in light season. Yes, are there hard counters that can take Surter? Yes, there's counter, 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 hard counters for every unit in the game. But Surter, to me, covers 80 to 90% of everything. He covers blues. He shuts down blues, pretty much greens. Only reds that can hurt him are really, really high attack dragons. And that's really Murr and now Aiden. I didn't see a single Aiden this time, so we'll see if that happens. Generally, you don't see a lot of uh, armored in, in high level AR. I just don't know. Only armors I see are Osteopulse Hector, maybe a Surter every now and then. And I, I saw one Murr, I believe. Was it this week? Yeah, I think it was this week. And she shut me down. If you have a Murr, that's a pretty good way to shut me down. Um, <clears throat> Alright, enough rambling aside. Again, that's my spiel on defense versus offense. For those in a limited budget, I highly, again, stress offense. I've seen some people that just try to go balance or favor defense. I just, I don't agree with it. I just, I don't agree with it because, again, look at the results. Um, let's look at defense results one more time. Well, not, no, it's not. Let's look at current standing again and see what the actual 
final tally was for top players. So there were only, I think, was it, was it 3,400 was top tier? So, wow, see, look, only, Twenty-six people got the top, top tier. I'm not going for that top tier. That's very hard. So I was just trying to get to twenty-six. Just missed it. We'll see if we get it next time. But that proves to me that, like, yeah, not even a thousand people are able to get the second to highest top tier. So compared to the peers, compared to the top ten, no, was this great? We lost eight hundred, nine hundred points to the, to the top guy, which well done. That guy really did a great job. He's always I don't know who he is, but. He's always consistently top five, so props to that guy. But uh, let's go back to what you know what I did. So let's look at the keep. We've talked about. Uh, I'll talk about just my general strategy again for defense, and then we'll look at some of the results <clears throat> that was able to perform this time. Again, not great, but we'll try to pick out some some fights that are interesting. So again, I have a pain plus Elise. I. Shelled her for a second, but she opens up a lot of stuff. She shuts down potentially super tanks, squishy things in the back. If she gets followed up again, she can she can kill just because of, just of the massive amount of chip damage. Um, but my real strength, she's she's there as really a decoy just to soften things up for the rest of my team. It's really all one in Lamentane. So this is really just a a blade set with some rally traps. So I try to hide some things. I have Hector with a rally, Levitane with a rally, and Almond with a rally. Uh, the way I have them set up, these are going to go first. I mean, ideally what, what we're trying to do is have something like um, a blue here. And then Almond can use her rally trap to rally one of these guys. Oh, actually, it would always be Azura because... This should have procced on both of Levitain and Hector. So really, really, this is a rally trap team, and I have it spread out so Aversa can't get us. It's it has many weaknesses. It has its weakness because these are squishy units. It's weakness to um, panic manners, panic ploys, uh, chills, tanks. Like uh, dull range is a great one. Dull close is a great one. Tanky blues, really, really, really tanky blues are hard because Levitane even can't pierce that even with her enormous stats. Uh, again, I've said this before, but this team is meant to try to overcome some of the tanks of Light Season. The only way I can consistently do that is with Blades. You can also try doing some, some drives. It's a little harder. So again, I'm just trying to get one or two kills a map and then maybe a, a Rage Quip. If I can get one or two successes a week, that's that's really good. Uh, what's new this time is I put a Makaya. I, I pulled her on the latest Legendary. I've always wanted a Makaya. I'm really excited I got her. This is obviously crap IVs. Um, she hasn't really had a chance to do much. But with Osseus Pulse in the field, I swapped him Hector out for Duma this time. Uh, this guy, this is one of the only guys that have made me spend money. This this guy. I, just, I didn't get him. I didn't get him this first uh, his first trip on the legendary circuit. I probably spent 600 orbs to get Hector, and I, I eventually got him. I was very underwhelmed, and I'm like, well, I don't really have a use for him. He's not really useful in my main teams because it's just the way he works with his Osseus Pulse. I'd rather use different C skills to help out other armors, but he works great in a mixed team, and he um, potentially worked great in AR. So I, I'm verdict's still out on how he performs. He's been okay so far. He really helps the Glimmer users. Everybody's got Glimmer. I really should put Moonbow on, on Makaya, I think. Um, but, yeah, so this is the team. We'll see how it did in the last couple times. It's just been tweaked, like I said, a little bit. Um, throwing Tactics Room, the bonus thing over here, and then splitting the Aether Pots. This was a Healing Tower, but I've, I haven't really had a need for it. And since I put Desperation on Olwen, gave her a Darting Blow this time. I used to give her Attack Speed, but... I really, really want her to double. That's her, her goal. And if somebody triggers this trap, she can double with Blade. Most things are going to die to that unless you're a really tanky res red. Um, so, yeah, that's the team. It did okay. Let's look at some of the results. 
Uh, anything interesting? Let's see, let's see if we can look at some of the good results. Let's look at our two foes defeated first. So this was a different team at the start. You can see I, I was still keeping my Anima <clears throat> Season Duma. I had a Azura. So this is really built to counter Surtur. This is, this is what this is for. The Surtur doesn't like that matchup, backs off. Duma gets a chip in, but with an air on the field, everybody should be healed, so it's not a big deal. He's not really that great on light because of just the fact that air is in play and he's going to be healed. So He takes a few turns to figure out what he wants to do. <clears throat> Big vulnerability here is the Elise in the corner, but he went with uh, Ephraim. That's going to be bad because that Owen's going to take Ephraim out. But he was able to... I would have taken the Dancer out, to be honest with you, but he chose that. He's not going to be able to... Ephraim's not going to be able to survive this. Unless he had a distant counter. And look at that. Good job, Olin. She was a little... She almost took out the Surtur. <laughs> what is that Surtur? That, that's not a wary fighter Surtur. How did I do two... Oh, Ashbreaker. I forgot I had Ashbreaker on her at, at this time. So, she almost took out Surtur. Not too bad. So, like I said, Alwyn and Le Levitain are the, are the keys to this, these fights. If you can take them out, everything else pretty much falls. And then, and then nothing else really interesting here. He's going to just clear the rest. But, again, one or two, that's what I'm going for. So, this week started out great. Two fights, four kills, and then <laughs> pretty much nothing, nothing the rest of the time. Uh, I will say, Tactics Room here really, really clobbers me because Azura... This is a good place to put it overall in general because this is a good spot. I've seen a lot of people use Azuras or Dancers and it really does help. So she went to the right. This is the first time I've ever seen anybody go right. The problem here is that Levitain's going to get her. So now we should take... Okay, we got Reinhardt started off. Now we should take out Levitain. Uh, Owen's going to kill her brother. I believe that's her brother, right? I haven't played Thrash yet. So, Owen got three out of these four kills. She She's a relatively newcomer to my defense, and I just, I like pairing her with I like pairing her with Levitain just to have two threats. For the longest time I had just Levitain and she performed fine. She performed fine. But the meta's changed in tier 21. Not everybody has Surtur. She was really just Surtur counter. That's all I ever saw was Surtur, Surtur, Surtur. Not seeing that a lot in 21. Um, one note. So I rematched five times, six times. So <laughs> brief, uh, brief aside to talk about what happened for my offense of the week. So I was in real trouble. On day four, I was completely out of escape ladders. I, I said I managed to play not flawlessly, but didn't die, no deaths for three days, four days. I kind of in awe. I'm really surprised I didn't get something to just wipe me. So we, to that end, we got lucky. So next time, I know a lot of people don't like to fight day one just so they can have better encounters on matches later in the week. But I, I just don't, I don't like playing that way. I like getting all my fights out of the way early, give as many chances for for me to get, to stockpile some some people who fight against me and then pick them off later in the week. I That's just how I prefer to play. I'm impatient. I don't, I don't like waiting. I don't like, maybe the OCD in me doesn't like all that either, just sitting there, so... I think, yes, strategically, if, if you want to defer those until later in the week, that's probably better, but, again, top 1,000, so it worked for me. <clears throat> Anything else interesting? I guess let's look at some of these wipes. Maybe this one. See how well they did, how they could take out this defense. Um, nothing's unbeatable. This is clearly not unbeatable. It has several weaknesses. You can go left, you can go right, you can go super tank up the middle. This is interesting. This is a Setsuna with a Dancer and then a Surtur. I don't think the Surtur gets in play here. Because if he did, he should have died. So I'm curious how they... I'm guessing they must go left.
Maybe a smite up the middle. Yeah. Smite retreat. That works. That can work. The healing tower, I'll get a little bit back. So the rallies, oh. Yeah, nobody's too far out. So this isn't bad. I mean, I'm not too kind of happy with the performance of that. Next turn, Doom is going to die. They're going to run away again, it looks like. Okay, she's she's going to challenge. Oh, that's right. She's got... Uh, She's got Nyla's skill. Oh, really? You couldn't kill Surtur? What happened? She must have just not been... She must have just not had stats. Yeah, that's too bad. She really should have been able to kill that Surtur if she was fully buffed. But unfortunately, uh, Azura... <laughs> this Azura danced her, not the other Azura. It's pretty simple. This is... Uh, you don't, I don't, don't get a lot of turtle tactics. For the most part, people either try to go full player phase or super tank things. Or I guess not, turtle's not the right word. Maybe hit and run. Don't get a lot of that. It's just performed fine. Let's go later in the week. I tweaked some things. Let's look at the last one of the day. So this is with Hector and Micaiah now. <clears throat> Another Surtur. I hope I killed him. Again, this is really just to try to take out Surtur. It looks like air is vulnerable. I'm guessing air is going to die. If you do that and you go try to take out my right side, air or uh, Levitain's going to kill you. So it looks like that was all that happened. I, mean, I really wish she could tank at least one more hit, but not to be this time. I like that with the, with the rallies, Hector goes backwards. It can help for stalling if I could potentially get a, <clears throat> a a turn a turn KO if you waste too much time. Yeah, I like that. Don't like him going back into the fray. So they managed to get both anyway. It was only turn four. So that was the last fight of the week. Anything else interesting? Let me look at what this one did. I got two kills with this new team. It's a lot of fun, um, unique, diverse teams this week. I've seen a, a whole bunch of stuff, which is cool. I, I It's healthy for the game. Oh, this is fun. So this is a, he intentionally tried to, to do that, I think, because he's got Vantage. So he guessed right. If that wouldn't have been correct, I think he would have been in real trouble. A life team would have definitely killed him. So he's hoping he can just counter everybody because he's got Brazens. I'll see if it works out. I don't think it's going to. Let's see, let's see why. Got him panicked due to the actual the panic meter there. I don't know if he anticipated that. So we got Levitane back up. She's completely buffed because of her odd speed. She buffed herself. So she doesn't need anybody to rally her. Uh, I think Levitane's time to shine here. Yeah, good job. She managed to tank the... I think he expected to kill her because I don't think he considered her be healed no nor did I think he thought he was gonna get panicked so that panic manner actually helped a lot oh good job Azura Azura really ever gets kills so that's nice to see she's minus attack so again that uh, Elise softened her up to the point where Azura could kill her and that's it does he get all the pot that's the only thing left in question Looks like it would turn five. Yep. Not too bad. Again, one or two is all this team is meant to do. So that's that's really it. There's nothing else to really show. Um, so hopefully that gave you some ideas. I mean, 
I'm sure you could follow other YouTube videos to go over specific strategies on defense. You could try to go for complete wipes, but it's tough. When you get... This team was performing good enough to get three or four successes a season. Tier 21 plus is not achieving the same results. But as I've echoed repeatedly, it's not my goal and I don't need it. I'm confident next week we can get... Or next light season we can get 30. So that that's the objectives now. So see if we can beat ourselves two weeks from now. We're trying to get thirteen thousand and top thousand. Just considering how dumb I played this this week, I watched every one of my videos again to see what I did wrong. And in the moment, I I didn't see a lot of very obvious things. I got hit by rally counters, my own rally sort of um, traps. I got hit by. Wings of Mercy lightning traps. I got hit by swap traps. I got hit by... There was no lunge traps this time. I don't think I saw a lot of... What's it called? Infantry pulse traps. Because... Surter can handle any specials because of his guard. But if you already have it ready to go, it becomes a problem with things like the cleaner. The cleaner is very dangerous. I've only seen that a couple times anybody's if that starts if that that weapon starts um sort of flooding the meta then we're in real trouble because i don't know who can take that on unless you have a dull ranged but anyway that's enough talk hopefully you learned something today we'll see you again back here tomorrow for week 18 take care everybody Bye bye